I have just arrived here. I was here this weekend as well with the 2470, which you see standing on my tripod behind me. I'm in Woodlands now, and today is was actually expected to be a bit sunny. Uh, so that was more of my reason going out here. Uh, but I'm also going out here to test the 18 millimeter uh, Samyang wide angle lens on for my Sony a7 III, which was kind of a budget option. I looked at some of the wide angles native Sony, but they were way too expensive for me. So uh, <coughs> instead I opted for this particular um, uh, lens. And let's, let's just see how it behaves and what it does. And this is also the review here for it. And you get some really lovely shots from here. Let me see how I do this. Yeah, here you see as usual, I'm on the bike, which you see in the back. So the scene here today is pretty much as you can see woodlands with overcast as you can see here this tree here this tree chunk which is laying down and I hope we're hoping to get some good shots today so follow me let's see well, my girlfriend always tells me I'm kind of a micro shooter which means is I take one spot where I see oh that's a nice frame that's a nice composition and I stay there for about an hour and whilst doing so, I normally tend to see more and more and more. When I actually came here, I wanted to shoot that derelict tree tr trunk there, which looks as to being hit by lightning or something. And now standing here, I see more and more things. So that's also why I have the um, 18 millimeters here with me. And there's so much to shoot. There really is. Because what you see on that side, and you don't see it right now, that's a tree line over here as big marsh is open. There's loads of branches, all kind of yeah, autumn-y things, I guess. So let's see how well this lens performs. So now let's just put it on single shooting. Let's check out what I can actually produce handheld. Which, as this lens is slightly faster than my f4.0 2470mm, there should be some nice compositions here. As you can hear, there's quite a few cyclers here. But for Dutch standards, this is pretty pristine. Look at that there. There's one disadvantage here in Sony cameras. Is that you can't extend the dynamic range like you can on some of the Fujis. At least the cheap-ass one that I bought. Oh, I love these yellow things here. This green tree here looks a bit like a Christmas tree, but it's incredibly bright green compared to the rest of the surrounding kind of trees. They're either dead, this one here, or they're not. Now let's take it from this side with a different type of lighting. Let's bunk it up a bit. I'm still shooting at f10. Right. Still shooting at f10. It's just to see what we can get out of this, you know. It's handheld, so. Let's see here, this is a bit too dark. One, one eighth of a second, so. Normally this would be tripod land, because it's just not too fast. So if I stop it down to F9 or F8, uh, I can go back to one tenth. And all of a sudden, I see a nice shot here, I haven't seen that bunch of trees over there and unfortunately I don't have to track and follow but this is pretty awesome as well it's amazing what you can shoot handheld tripod you're always looking to anchor something whereas ooh, is it just me or is it not very sharp Now, when it comes to the F18, the, the testing that I've done, and you'll see some samples now whizzing by as well, is that this lens is great value for money. Okay, it isn't weather sealed. And yes, there's a, a 2.8 uh, aperture, but in reality, you're better off shooting from 5.6 because it gets a bit sharper. Um, but overall, it's not weather sealed. It is very small and compact, as you can see, which is great, so it doesn't weigh that much. I think that, yeah, you have some distortions, you'll see, but that's in, in post-production, even for an amateur like me, that's pretty simple to, uh, to get rid of. And I just see a great shot here. 
let's see if I, because there's a cycling path here, my mountain bike is on the back there, as you can see. Yeah, and the thing with this lens is there is some vignetting on, on, on the edges, specifically when you shoot at faster apertures. But that shouldn't stop us from having fun. And I'm realizing you don't see me right now. Yeah, I'm the man in green. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. The sun just peeked over there and it just lit up the entire, the entire scene. So I hope this will come out pretty okay. I'm just gonna continue a bit of photography. You'll get to see a few shots right here now passing by. Mm -hmm.